Hi, welcome back. In this video, I want to share some fun fact about imperial food in Qing Dynasty. Number one, in Qing Dynasty, the emperor and the consorts only ate two formal meals. They ate breakfast between 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. and ate dinner between 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. If they were hungry at other time, they could eat some snacks, which was called xin. In Qing Dynasty, Manchuria people used to call xin bo bo. In the imperial kitchen, there was a department called bo bo ju, which only made bo bo for the emperor and the consorts. Bobo was a common food appeared in daily life and important ceremonies. For example, on the Empress Daughter's birthday party, the imperial cooks must prepare Bobo Zhu, which also called the Guo Zhu. I will make video about this topic in future. The fun fact number two. Now we know Cixi ate a hundred zero eight dishes per meal, because Cixi was a human, she definitely couldn't eat all of them. So what happened with the leftovers? First, before touching the dishes, the emperor may give some dishes to his favorite government officers, consorts, etc. For example, in Puyi's book, From Emperor to Citizen, he mentioned the imperial noble consort soldier Duan Kang sometimes give him some dishes cooked in her private kitchen, which were delicious. The point is, only a few government officers and the consorts had a chance to get the dishes from the emperor. So this means there were a huge amount of leftovers after the emperor finished his meals. Sometimes the emperor gave the leftovers to his favorite eunuchs or imperial maids. Eunuchs and the imperial maids were not allowed to eat the leftovers without the Empress' permission. Theoretically, all final leftovers should be used to feed animals, like cats, dogs, and birds. But actually, eunuchs secretly sold a large part of leftovers to the restaurants outside the Forbidden City. The fun fact number three. In TV dramas, you always see royal family members eat together. In real history, those rarely happened. Generally, except in some special events, like celebrating Chinese New Year, celebrating the Empress Daughter's birthday. Most of the time, the Emperor and the Imperial Woman didn't eat meals together.